Good day, everybody. Fatwood Friday again. Friday afternoon, our time. Um, got my cold steel uh, hunting sword. I'm going to pull that out today for a quick little play. I'm very, very unorganised today. Uh, I've received a, a few more, a bunch of new subscribers. Uh, Donny gave us Donny B, D Bad. He gave us a really good shout out again today so I'm, I'm sure some of the guys seen that jumped over sub to us thanks a lot um, I've been watching a couple of couple of guys um, videos I forget Katana man I, I can't remember his name at the moment but um we had a little bit of a chat and I watched a couple of his videos and he's chopping stuff up so anyway Cold steel hunting sword. I know it's getting dark that I'm fighting against the dark. Um, I haven't really done much with this. I ordered this. COVID came in and it, I think it took about 10 to 11 months before I received it. And in that meantime, I ended up busting the rig uh, ligaments in my wrist. Um, and this, yeah, well, there is no fixing them. Um, so playing with swords is actually sort of swords and my big bowies which i ordered a bunch of those and they all turned up after i busted my wrist so um yeah that makes it a little bit hard to do with to do what i wanted to do anyway just thought i'd show you this i don't know where you're gonna see the light reflecting off this but i believe it's a 24 inch blade it was pretty dull but i got it hair shaving this afternoon. I had no idea how to sharpen it, so I just got the um, kitchen steel that um, Peter Morrissey gave us. And I just did the the blade in, in two separate halves. <laughs> and I didn't know how to do it, I just sort of made it up as I went. But um, And then I gave it a, a little bit of a strop, but it's come out pretty bloody good. Uh, again, yeah, it's sharp. I don't have any um, I've been cutting paper inside with it, so it definitely sort of cuts and she shaves. Anyway, I've got no idea about technique at all. I'm just gonna swing. I've got one milk bottle or milk jug here. I'm just gonna try and chop it up and um, then I'll get onto some fat wood. So I'm under pressure because of the daylight. Anyway, here we go. No skill, no idea what I'm doing at all. I'll turn it around just in case I can get two or three hits out of it. Ooh, a lot easier than I expected. So, yeah, that worked um, <laughs> a lot easier than I expected. Uh, Donovan gave us a, a little hint not to hit so hard when you're when you're cutting these jugs he said there's a fine line between hitting too hard and just right so I just slowed it down then and it seemed to go through really good anyway that's a pretty good little ring okay let's get on to this um Fatwood Friday <clears throat> Haven't, as you can see, haven't prepared nothing. Don't need this. Um, what can I sort of say while I'm doing this? Um, oh, I've started intermittent fasting this week. Already lost. I'll do this here. We've already lost two and a half kilos this week, so that's going pretty good. And um, my body seems to react quite well to this intermittent fasting thing, so I'm sort of averaging around that 16 to 17 hours a day of fasting. And um, 
not trying to be keto, but you sort of end up being a bit keto. And um, I'm just eating high protein, high fat sort of foods and cutting down on the carbs and it's working a treat. And I've done it a fair few times in the past and my body just seems to really like it. And um, yeah, I'm about, uh, what am I, about 13 kilos overweight. Well, was at the start of the week. So um, I don't know what that is in pounds for you guys over there. That's probably getting up around 25, 26 pounds or something overweight. So that's what I kind of want to lose. So we'll see what happens in about three months time and hopefully I'll get back down to 90 or sub 90. 88 kilos would be great. But I don't think I'm going to be going to the gym. I've just started doing some like light weights around the house, did squats here, my legs are really still sore from Wednesday night, started doing squats again, just with dumbbells and yeah, I'm pretty bloody sore actually, so oh well, I'll do some more tonight anyway, just for the hell of it, just to stay on a roll, it's amazing how well this bloody little hull for his knife goes, the heavy duty $15 Australian knife, it's awesome. And um, what else can I say? Um, yeah, don't know. I was going to bring my um, Cold Steel Frontier 1917 Bowie out here, but I'm definitely running out of daylight here. So um, it is what it is. I've been losing half of my bloody curls to the bloody ground. So I think this is only going to be a small little fire, just enough to say Fatwood Friday. Been pretty busy, had a few people come over the Savo unexpectedly, and yeah, making comments to the new new subscribers, new guys, and um, sharpening up the old um, hunting sword making my dinner so yeah anyway that's probably enough for the, the little fire Alright, that's what I got going here. Just a quick little throw together thing. Let's see if we'll get a spark in here and see if it kicks off. Yeah. It's an unusual sort of height for me. Being a bit of a short ass. I might just piss this long off. There we go. Ooh, so close. Good old fat wood, eh? So, happy fat wood Friday everybody and uh, I'll hopefully get some better content over the weekend for you guys. Thanks a lot Donovan. <laughs> Do 
Well, there you go, Donny Donovan, but Don, uh, Donny B all day. That was meant for. And um, the new subscribers, thank you very much. And happy Fatwood Friday for tomorrow, you guys. Cool. Woohoo! Woohoo! Bernie's. Yep. Sizzled the old fingers there. Oh well. Well, Captain Electro and was it? Bowie man or whatever, they were doing some silly things with their fingers today, so there you go, I just burnt mine. Cheers guys, see ya.